what is good what is good you guys so um i'm at the park with the family and um oh man it's so beautiful look at the day i hear the birds but yeah um i'm just walking in um what's been coming in my spirit is um returning back to your true self coming back home to your true self coming back home to your true essence remembering who you are remembering your truth so along my journey of self-discovery my spiritual journey that is that is basically where I'm at now. Coming back home to me, to who I am. Remembering who I am and standing true to that, regardless of the opinions and judgments of other people. Because I would say, you know, one thing about me is, I kind of battle with that, um, you know, just thinking about what other people would think of me or judgment you know I, I i struggled with judging myself a lot and you know over analyzing things too much and even people or you know sometimes just taking on too much of other people's thoughts you know being empathic and things you know just further discovering my gifts my spiritual gifts and how certain things affect me that i didn't really no, like being like consciously aware of it and so you know before you come into your awakening you just going through these different experiences and you're like what's going on you know but once you come into your awakening and you start to come into your knowing then you know you know what i'm saying you gain that inner over and understanding but um yeah back to what i was saying you know just coming back home to who i truly am and what i know is truth for me for my soul you know um accepting myself accepting my journey accepting and believing in my inner guidance and knowing my inner guidance you know um trusting myself trusting my being you know just being coming into being you know, um, my journey has been amazing because it's been a journey of growth. It's been a journey of evolution. You know, um, I don't work uh, a job. I'm not in the system. You know, I haven't done that in years. And um, I'm very grateful for that because I get to experience and learn me. I get to experience life in a whole different way. I get to walk with the divine, you know, I get to see, I get to see differently. And um, with that, you know, you grow, you evolve, you learn, you expand, and you just come into this awareness and this peace and this trust that's like nothing else. Your perception grows and it becomes different, you know because you're not inside that matrix, you're not inside that bubble, you're not inside those judgments, you're not inside those preconceptions, you're not um you're not in that realm of of somebody else controlling your mind, your thoughts, your reality. So when you come out of that and you tune in, you go within doing a lot of inner work. You come to find out and realize a lot of things. You know, um, a lot of ego deaths, a lot of uh, breakthroughs through illusions and things like that. I just got to show y'all this real quick. It's just so beautiful. But yeah, breaking through um, the illusions of your mind. I gotta take this off. I gotta give me some of this sun. Oh, 
yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But yeah, back to what I was saying, you know, just um, owning that truth, knowing who you are, knowing what you like, what you don't like, you know, learning yourself, knowing yourself and standing, standing on that, regardless of what anybody else say, any other religious beliefs, anything like that. And that's something else that I've been battling with is, is my beliefs. What do I believe? Coming back into that. Me. I. My awareness. You know, because this this is deeper than... This is deeper than what we've been taught. Life is deeper than what we've been taught. Our mind is deeper than what we've been taught. You know, our reality, our perception, everything is deeper than what we've been taught. So, if we're going off of what we've been taught, that's a program. That's not your true self. That's not your identity. Those are not your thoughts. You know, that's not your own mind. So a part of awakening is, you know, some people, they go back to sleep. Some people, they awaken, but then they go back to religion and things like that. So you can basically say that that's what happened to me, you know, because um, I've been on my spiritual journey. I've been on my stuff. I've been, you know, working and walking this out. But yes, I allowed the religious spell and doctrine to come back on me that fear to come back on me, those judgments to come back on me to where I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't happy. I wasn't really all the way tuned back into myself or really listening to what was going on inside of me because I'm thinking that, you know, it's, it's something else. Like, it's not... I'm, I'm 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 thinking that basically my my true inner self is is lying to me or something. You know what I'm saying? Like cuz that's how religion have you. It have you thinking that you know this is wrong, that's bad and just all this type of stuff. And you know, once again breaking out of that but still knowing the truth in it. You feel me? Knowing still the truth that is in it. But also knowing the higher truth, the inner truth, you know what I'm saying? And just living and being and allowing my experiences to teach me and to grow me and to know that the divine truly is with me because I know that for myself. I don't need nobody to tell me that, you know. Um, so once you come into that knowing and those experiences and that overstanding that inner standing then you will truly nobody can really tell you nothing at that point because you know for yourself that's just like you know for example if 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 somebody told you like like how they'll say somebody tell you that the sky is blue that's what somebody told you but when you look at the sky what do you see do you see that it's blue or are you going off what somebody else said you know, that's like we're trying something new. You know, if you ask somebody, hey, how do how does how does that dish taste? How does that how is that restaurant? And they will give you their opinion of it. So you either go off of their opinion or you go to the restaurant and you try things out for yourself to formulate your own truth, your own um your own belief or your own judgment about it, your own perception about it, your own whatever. It's your own that you know to be facts you know what i'm saying so yeah i just wanted to tap in with y'all with that and you know ah, freedom that's what it's about being free within free within that's all i'm about is being free within and you know as i grow older and coming more into this into this inner awareness you know, I'm, certain memories are coming back to my mind. And one of the things that comes back to my mind is being young or just these visions of me writing. And I write, too. So that's how I know, like, these are our memories. And this is a part of, like, you know, who I am and things like that. So I would remember me writing certain things. And it's like, as I write certain things now, today, um, you know, future tense. 
from that time it's like wow this this is my journey like this is deeper than 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 so much like you know just what I what I'm all about what I'm growing into and what I can help teach others inspire others and bring to others I'm already walking in it living it and doing it being it you know so I always remember me wanting wisdom or just having a connection to wisdom and I'm learning now why that is I'm learning now why I'm more drawn to um, this this inner spiritual freedom and things like that you know it's all coming around full circle and it's a beautiful thing it's beautiful to experience life on your own terms you can say it's beautiful to come back into consciousness it's beautiful to come back into your knowing and your truth and just awakening awakening from your slumber you know and having your perception change shifting your consciousness and um you know things are going to be different moving forward on my channel so i just want y'all to know that and um you know i just want to thank everybody that's been rocking with me and you know for those who have outgrown me or don't resonate anymore that's fine you know it's all a part of the cycle of growth you know we we all grow out of certain things we all go through our phases you know and coming back to that remembrance you know it's certain phases you go through in life you're not always going to be in the same mindset you're not always going to have the same perception the same ideas the same passions you know what I'm saying? It's okay to outgrow things and come into something new. You know, it's a time and a season for everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's the wisdom. And just accepting that. And not trying to resist things. You know, because that's what we like to do too. We like to resist change. Because we're so used to being comfortable. We're so used to holding on. We're so used to fear. We don't want to let go and let God. We don't want to be non-attached. We want to be attached. We want to be comfortable. And things like that. And um, that's not how you grow. Yes, baby? I'm talking to our YouTube family. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to tap in with y'all with that. And, um, you know, just, just share that with y'all, you know? Just share that with y'all and share this beautiful, beautiful day. So yes, you guys, tap in with yourself, get to know yourself, love yourself, and trust your inner guidance. Trust it. Trust it. You know, we've been also conditioned and programmed to not even trust ourselves. So, you know, it's a lot of things that we got to break out of and just let go of. You know, we have to let go of the lies. We have to let it go. You know, we are shifting as a collective. We're shifting you know as individuals and um you know it just come a point in time where you just gotta let some shit go you know it just finally come to a point in time when you just gotta let it go you gotta let that let that man go let that girl go you gotta let them shoes go you gotta let that house go you gotta let uh those clothes go that you've been holding on to for five six years or since high school you know what i'm saying you just gotta let some stuff go so you can make room for new. So you can make room for that expansion that wants to come in. And um, if we're being constricted, if we're allowing our energy to be constricted, then we cannot allow expansion to come in. We cannot allow growth to come in. You know, higher, new to grow, to come in. What is that? What is that? I don't know. Put that down, though. So, yeah, I'm about to... Um, get into my meditation and 
spend just time with my family and I'll tap back in with y'all on the next one. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.